to welcome some of us who could have actually going through a series of painful romantic relationships and in a sense have become disillusioned about love and probably you need just to devote a few years outside that kind of context and just allow your heart to learn to be loved by God afresh just to have a mind that is pure before God and just ask God, God, cleanse me. And I would just invite you, just come along together with those who are dedicating the years of singlehood to God. That you would also dedicate your period to God. And say, God, mine is just to ask for a time of renewal. I've been through a series of romantic relationships. I have been hurt. I have been heartbroken. I have, I, have, I have done things that were wrong. I have been immoral in some of them. And probably you have idolized rom romantic love. And you've idolized love. And God would have you lay the dragon of love as an idol in your own heart. And be able to align and ascribe and say, God, there is nothing that can take your place in my heart. You are number one in my heart. And I want to affirm this by giving you this period of years of just loving you as a single person. If that be your prayer, just join us again on stage. I want to pray with you. Sometimes you don't need counseling. Sometimes you just need a cleansing time of pure devotion to God. And you say, God, I have been heartbroken. I have been going through pain from a series of relationships. Give me a new beginning. Give me a new start. I want to learn your principles afresh. And probably that comes through going through a period of a desert, of just staying single and loving God without any strings attached. Holy, devoted to God with undivided attention. Hallelujah. And now we want to bow before God and dedicate and pray together with our brethren. This is a difficult prayer to make. This is a difficult commitment to make. But in the presence of all who are present here, we want to pray together with our brethren that are standing here with me. Oh God, you are a merciful and loving Father. 
Father, we know that there is nothing in us that we can offer you that can substitute the righteousness we have received by faith through Christ. And therefore, God, this dedication is not in any way an attempt to gain your acceptance. Yet, our Father, Lord, we want to slay the dragon and the idol of romanticism in our culture. And King of Glory, we want to bring our Father, our years that we have mentioned before you in our hearts. And we want to ask of you that God give us grace to love you with a pure mind, to love you with a pure heart, to love you with strings unattached. Oh God, that we would experience a period of our lives when our hearts will be holy for you, truly for you, when we would rather be seeking for our spouses. We've made this prayer before your presence, oh God, that you're more than able to grant us a spouse that is befitting us. There is nothing that can limit you to bring us into a romantic relationship that honors your name. And Heavenly Father, we come to you because we have faith of your providence. You are not limited to provide to us anything that we desire. Yet, King of Glory, you say that not everything is beneficial to us, O Lord. And we choose, O God, by the choice of our will, O Lord, even to bring that time to you. And we want to commit these brethren who are standing with me here on the altar. That in the name of Jesus, that the years I have dedicated to you, our Father, will come and rise to you as a sweet-smelling server. That those years, our Father, will be memorable in the rest of their lives. Oh God, I pray that Lord, as you thrust them into opportunities they have never thought about, as you bring along their ways, oh God, ways to serve you, ways to walk with you, experiences with you, oh God. I pray that indeed you may deepen their experience of you, our Father. I pray that indeed they will encounter you in ways that they had never imagined. I pray that God, they will have moments of prayer in, in your presence, oh God, that will rise up as a sweet smelling server. May you receive the sacrifice offered in the presence of the church. May you usher our brethren into things they have never thought about. May you fill their hearts with your satisfaction. May you make their joy complete in you, O oh God. May they experience your fullness, our Father. Oh God, in their youth, may this youth that they offer to you be spent in honor of your name. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, we pray for strength. Our flesh is weak, but the Spirit makes this desire in your presence. Therefore, God, we pray for strength that you may quicken them in their mortal bodies, oh God, that they may be able to fulfill our Father to the very last day of the commitment they have made to you. On this day, the 1st of March of 2015. Heavenly Father, we worship you tonight and we bless your name. For some of them, Lord, who have come here, who are suffering, oh God, from pain and heartbreak and disappointment, oh God, we pray that you will bring your healing. You are the balm of Gilead, oh God, who heals us and ministers to us. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that God they will never look again for security and significance in other men. I want to pray that in the name of Jesus, they will find you, oh God, and they will be satisfied. Those who are dug for themselves, cisterns that are broken, oh God. I pray that now they will be able to drink springs of living water. Heavenly Father, I pray that God, they will have an experience with you. For this period of time, they take a break from romantic relationships. Lord, I pray that they will be fulfilling again. We pray for them, dear Father. Heal them, O God. Give them a renewed vision for godly homes. Bless them, our Father, in all that they lay their hands to do. Blessed be your name. I pray that every one of them, during this period of time, will overcome seen and all its manifestation. I pray for grace, our Father, to stand the temptations of sin. I pray that God they will be able to honor you with their bodies and offer them as instruments of righteousness. They will be set apart, our Father, as vessels of noble honor, O God. They will be vessels of honor, of noble use, meat for the master's use. And I pray that God, as they separate themselves from the latter, dear Father God, as they purify themselves and walk the path 
of sanctification, they will offer themselves to you in holiness and in honor. And that God, you will use them in ways they never would have imagined. We bless your name for tonight, O oh God, and we thank you. We bless your name. We, we pray that even for all of us who are standing here tonight, that God, in our hearts, it shall be affirmed again that you alone are the ultimate. And that we shall never set up an idol of any kind in our hearts that competes with your attention. And I pray that, dear Father God, we will enthrone you in our hearts. And you will be raised up and set apart as Christ and as Lord in our hearts. And that, dear Father, as young people, we shall serve you wholeheartedly. I pray for as many who are in romantic relationships leading to marriage. Oh God, I pray for them. I ask of you that indeed they will honor you in their relationships. Oh God, thank you so much, Father, for such a wonderful time this evening. And dear Father God, because you know every of these individuals, Lord, I pray that you will walk with them and you will lead them to find joys unspeakable and reveal the mysteries of God beyond their human capability. Blessed be the name of our Father in heaven and, and, and God forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.